Hello everyone, Denise Carpenter from lotuswings.ca here and we're going to continue on with the Meet the Practitioner playlist. But before we do, and with Suzanne, with Suzanne's permission, we'll remove these masks. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah, we're, we're six feet apart. Neither one of us has COVID, so we're very safe in doing this. So today we're going to meet the practitioner. And it's Suzanne Cluteau McLaren from Pine Grove Reiki. And welcome, Suzanne. Thank you for doing the, this playlist and doing this video. So tell us, um, uh, tell us about Pine Grove Reiki. Okay, Pine Grove Reiki was established maybe about four years ago. And uh, so it's been about five years. I was thinking about that five years that I've been doing Reiki. Wonderful. And uh, master two years now, mm -hmm. uh, Isui Reiki. And uh, last year, matter of fact, it was last year. Oh my God, time goes so quickly. It does. Last year, I didn't. I was tempted, and a, a little uh, mystified about this holy fire Reiki, and I was hearing about it down in the United States. And so I thought, I'm going to check this out. Yes. And so I took a three day course with people from all over the world on Zoom, and uh, people from India, the U.S., and a couple of Canadians. And uh, I found it extremely interesting. Excellent. And uh, yeah, it's a different, can I call it modality? Mm -hmm. uh, because there's a lot of different types of Reiki. Mm -hmm. And I know you've spoken about that, which was really great. And it's, so it's different, mm -hmm. but it's supportive of everything else. Excellent. Excellent. Um, apparently, William Rand, uh, who is the one who pulled it together, he, he, like he says, it's not just me, it was a whole bunch of people, mm -hmm. but it was to try to make sure there was an energy uh, that could uh, help with Reiki, the teaching and um, the giving sessions and uh, so on and so forth through the internet. And that's what he was looking for, is an okay. energy that the angelic realm or whatever you want to, we want to call it, mm -hmm. would allow that. And so with a bunch of practitioners from all over the world, they came up with the Holy Fire Corona Reiki. Excellent. So I am uh, I am allowed to teach it now. I've got mm -hmm. my certificate and I'm a master. In that Excellent. Also. So where do you do that work then? Okay, well, two places. I have mm -hmm. one here at the Lotus Wings, 30 North Perth, here in Ontario. Mm -hmm. And uh, Monday is my day to, to practice. So I do try to come in. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's just to read, mm -hmm. putting out the energy that I am here. Mm -hmm. um, and when we're done with the pandemic, then I would love to be here every Monday. Mm -hmm. Since Monday is my day, if I can call it that, and mm -hmm. my evening, uh, so I will do, I have done Reiki shares. Uh, right now, I do Reiki shares from my home office. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a small home office for Reiki. Mm -hmm. And um, then myself and a colleague, we had decided to do something special for frontline workers. So we hosted a few of them here, socially distant. The other room has mm -hmm. a lot of room, so yes. we were measuring, making sure everybody mm -hmm. was um, uh, distant and do Reiki for these people, which uh, I found extremely uh uh, satisfying for myself as a Reiki practitioner. Mm -hmm. You see somebody walking in, they're stressed, mm -hmm. they're unhappy. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, I don't want to say ugly, but it's, it's frightening to see the stress that some of these people are got on their shoulders. For the frontline workers. For the frontline oh, workers. Yeah. Yeah. And myself and, and my yeah. colleague, as she was like over here and yeah. I'd be over there and we would yeah. be Reiki for 20 minutes with some really nice music. And then they, they come out of it and they're like, oh. <gasps> The stress is gone. Beautiful. Yeah, so um, that's been, it's just, uh, how can I, I don't know how to say it. It's just been so rewarding for, for myself oh, for to sure. do that. Yeah. yeah. So to continue, because now we've got the second phase and those COVID variants, yeah. I decided, no, I don't want to do, I think you're the first person mm -hmm. that I've, I've this, this close to for a long time, except <laughs> for my husband. And uh, <laughs> uh, because it's just, it's too frightening right yeah. now, this, this, um, this COVID. Uh, so I've decided to do a Zoom. So I've got a Zoom account and invited some people that I kind of knew mm -hmm. and some friend life workers. And we did a, a, an hour and a half of uh, guided meditation. Mm -hmm. And I asked everybody, please give me some, some uh, feedback. I'd love feedback to get better at it. That's and cool. then we did uh, Reiki. And I have to admit, it was like, I've got four Reiki people and two frontline workers. And 
And then I thought, wait a minute, the intention. Always intention. Yeah. So I said the intention and I mentioned mm -hmm. that, of course, the Reiki masters are all Reiki masters. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, and I said, I set the intention for each of us to do Reiki mm -hmm. to all of us and we'll allow, not allow, but um, let Reiki decide where, where the need is greatest. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, interestingly enough, everybody came back and said, Oh, it's so good. It's yeah, so good. Thank you. It was fabulous. It was yeah. very nice. Good. So um, so that, I think, was first introduction to uh, frontline workers that Reiki through Zoom is excellent. <laughs> excellent. Good. So yeah. you do your shares through Zoom, your regular Reiki shares through Zoom, and you do the frontline worker share through Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. And then anything else by Zoom? Well, right now I have not started teaching, um, but it, I think it would probably, I'd like to teach to whoever across the, the, mm -hmm. the whole of the planet, mm -hmm. that if they, if my energy, uh, how can I say, attracts you to me, mm -hmm. to my website, that yeah. means I might be the right instructor exactly. for you, yeah. uh, for treatments. Yeah. Um, that, that's why there's no competition mm -hmm. among Reiki people. Because you're giving out a certain energy, mm -hmm. and the people who really need that energy will come to you. Exactly. So right now, I've said to the universe, not right now, mm -hmm. because there's too much going on. Yes. You know, with yeah. my own personal life, I'm still um uh, I still practice as a, a consultant for uh, the Ottawa government, the Canadian government right yeah. now. So. Uh, then I'll have more time once I decide to retire. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing hands-on sessions at the Lotus Wings building in Perth? Yes. At 30 North Street. And are you doing Reiki sessions over Zoom um, other times during the week if someone wants I, to go I do because I say, well, I, I have clients, yes. They're, yeah. not, they're not paying clients because they're family, mm -hmm. they're friends. Mm -hmm. And I, I love that because then I share the Reiki with those people. Mm -hmm. They... They get the benefit. Mm -hmm. I get feedback, which yeah. is fantastic. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think the greatest feedback I've had, and I really wanted to talk about that, is um, we as Reiki practitioners do not control Reiki. We, we're just a conduit mm -hmm. for Reiki. And um, my mother su suffers very, very badly with backache. She's uh, sustained many different injuries, which is kind of like a to totally understand somebody having seven different injuries to the, the back. Wow. And now in her late 80s, she's suffering from a tremendous amount of pain mm -hmm. and trying all these medicines. And so I give her Reiki and I can't feel anything. It's like, mm -hmm. I've given Reiki to many people who can feel it. Yeah. So then I thought, um, well, what's going on here? But then my sister said to me, I've noticed um, mom's attitude towards life is, is changed a bit. She sleeps better. She seems a lot happier. We love to joke a lot. Yes. And mom had that that's gone away because of the pain and yeah. the loneliness, the loneliness that it's caused because you know, she's almost a shut in. Yeah. But we we don't visit as much, and when we do, we're separated very oh, yeah. very far away. Yeah. And um, so I asked her one day. She goes, "Yeah, I don't know what's going on here." And then I realized. Reiki decided the biggest, most important thing to to help sustain was uh, her emotional mm -hmm. her emotional problems, if you can call it. And my mother okay. had a hard life, but that mm -hmm. stayed with me. Mm -hmm. And I think now, yes, there are many different levels that Reiki helps with. Absolutely. And sometimes somebody may come to see you for one problem, but it's actually helping with another exactly. issue. But that's the one that they really needed to have attended, right? Yeah, for sure. For so. sure. Now, if someone wanted to get a hold of you to book a session, how would they do that? Yes. Well, um, I have a website, and it's called pinegrovereiki.biz, B-I-Z. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can certainly um, get me through there because my um, I have my phone number mm -hmm. and uh, my email address, so then you can just send something to me. And are you on Facebook as well? I am on Facebook. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm like the whole gamut here. <laughs> uh, Facebook uh, under Suzanne McLaren and uh, Facebook with Pine Grove Reiki and Instagram mm -hmm. with uh, Suzanne McLaren and Pine Grove Reiki. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. And uh, so, and then the website, mm -hmm. the website. I'm making my website to be the hub of my whole business, and from there, I, I um, that was one of the reasons we went to a different platform myself mm -hmm. and my uh, 
a digital consultant because the old platform could not take blogs. Okay. And I mm -hmm. wanted to do blogs and, and uh, hands-on training with some specialties that Excellent. would be online. Excellent. So um, that's also where I would like to post little tidbits of stuff. And then if you want to hear a little more about certain things is to go to the blog for, um, for my... Great. Um, yeah. Good. So you're, you, people can reach you at... Uh, pinegrovereiki.biz B I Z on your Facebook yes on Instagram yes. and then you're also on the lotuswings.ca uh, website on the practitioners page yes thank there. you for mentioning that I've forgotten <laughs> so well you're you're out there so I'm you've, got, there. you've got you've got a lot of things going on which is just super it's, it's busy <laughs> it is. well thank you for coming today oh, Suzanne. thank you Denise for doing this I appreciate it no problem and thank you for joining us and if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel, Denise Carpenter from lotuswings.ca. Namaste. Namaste.